Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to introduce you to MapView, another useful Obsidian community plugin that you can integrate into your note-taking system. Basically, this plugin searches your notes for encoded geolocations and places them as markers on a map. In this video, we will look at a couple of examples on how you can use MapView. But before we start, I want to announce that I completely reworked my website where you will find all my services, blog posts, newsletter and much more. So check it out, I will leave the link in the description down below. And now, let's get started. First of all, we need to install the plugin. So go to Settings, Community Plugin and search for Map View. Install and Enable. As you can see here on the left, you have a new icon. And if you click on it, you will have your Map View. Pretty cool, right? Now, how can we use this plugin? For example, you can use it when you take notes on people like a client, a collaborator, or a friend. Imagine having clients all over the world. It would be nice to have a map view showing their location. So when you need to plan a trip to a specific country, you can easily see if any of them live there so that you can meet in person. As you can see, I already created some notes about clients. Now I want to add a location property so I can see the client on my map. To do that, I just need to open the command palette with command P or control P, and search for map view at geolocation front matter to current node. And here you write the place you want to add. And if you want, you can also specify the address. Let's say that Daniel lived in Collado Villalba. So search for it and press enter. Now you have the geolocation here in the location property. Unfortunately, there is a little issue on how the Obsidian property read the data and you can't modify it manually. You can do that only if you switch to search mode. But I will link a solution that you can adopt without switching to search mode in the description down below. Anyway, I added the geolocation and now if I go to my map, I can see that Daniel lives in Collado Villalba. Now let's add a location to the other nodes. So John lives in New Jersey. Okay. And Mario in Lucca, Italy. And here we go. Now I can see all my clients on the map. Let's do the same for my collaborators. So Alberto lives in Milan and Chris lives in Dublin. Now I can see both my clients and my collaborators on the map. But I can do more because at the current state I can't instantly recognize who is a client and who is a collaborator. So the first thing I like to do is to change the icons. To do that, you just need to go to the settings, map view, and scroll down. And here you can add all the icons you want. For example, for clients, I can add a user icon with a red color and penta as shape. And for collaborators, I can add a handshake icon with a green light color and the star shape. You can find all the properties you can use in the links you will find over here. If I go back to the map, now I see different icons depending on the tags I used inside my notes. Now, let's suppose that you have a node with a table that group up all the nodes about clients. Let's create one together. New node, name it clients. Let's write an heading one clients. And here I write my query. So three backticks, data view, table without ID file.name as clients from the tag client. 
If you don't know how to create a table like this or you don't know what data view is, I will leave the link to my video about data view in the description down below. Okay, under the table, I want to see a map that shows me the location of my client. To do that, open the map view and here I can create some filter. In this case, I want to see only the nodes with the tag client. And I can save the view by calling it clients. Now, if I click here on copy block and I go back to my node, I can paste it here and now I can have the map view directly inside the node. And this could be a very nice implementation in a CRM system inside Obsidian. And that's all for today, my friends. This is just an introductory video about map view, but you can use it in so many different ways. If this plugin is already in your vault or you will install it to try it, let me know how you use it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, consider to subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell and hit that like button. Remember to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server for more productivity, PKM and not taking content. You will find all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.